As deadly wildfires rage across the U.S. West, millions of people are struggling with some of the world's worst air pollution. Enormous plumes of ash and smoke have spread from the region, where nearly 5 million acres have been set ablaze. The harmful smoke is compounding the public health crisis of the coronavirus pandemic. In California alone, more than 4,000 homes and other structures have been incinerated over the past three weeks. The worsening air quality levels have driven residents indoors. While nearly 17,000 firefighters battle around 29 major wildfires, levels of lung polluting particulate matter have jumped beyond the summertime norm in the state. While hospitals in hard hit Oregon report a 10% increase in emergency room visits for breathing problems. In the case of wildfire, air pollution is considered a serious health hazard linked to the diseases including asthma, lung cancer, heart disease, and early death. Doctors are concerned because due to wildfire smoke, different kinds of particles and gases may cause certain degrees of inflammation in the lungs and resulting in shortness of breath and early death. So in, in wildfire smoke, there's many different kinds of particles and gases that are there. Uh, one particular uh, bad actor are the really tiny small particles that are less than 2.5 microns in size. And, to give you a sense of how small that is, you know, the width of a hair shaft is, is about 50 microns. So these are really tiny particles. And the problem with these uh, particulate matter is that they are well adept to getting into the deeper parts of the lung and cause a certain degree of inflammation, which results in symptoms such as shortness of breath, coughing, wheezing. I'm trying to stay in a lot. Like we've only come out recently the past couple of days. Uh, it, it was it was pretty bad. It's, at night, it seems to get a little bit worse. I don't know if, if the the when it cools off, maybe the smoke comes down or something. But it's been it's been uh, it's been pretty rough. Like I said, we've been staying inside mostly.